Good morning, my lovelies, and thank you for joining me for another What I Eat in a Day as a vegan, doing my best to follow the Slimming World plan as a normal person who isn't perfect. Okay, so today is Wednesday, it's the 5th of May. If you're new here, hello, my name's Leanne, and if you're coming back, as always, thanks ever so much for doing so. Uh, for breakfast, I am having a black coffee. I know this is unusual for me, but occasionally I do fancy a weak black coffee, so that's what I'm having today. And also, I've got some toast with some marmalade on it. So my toast is two slices from a small wholemeal loaf, um, which is my healthy extra B choice. And then the marmalade is one teaspoon per slice, uh, which uh, is half a sin, I believe, per teaspoon. I'll double check that though. So just to confirm it is indeed half a sin per teaspoon. So my breakfast is one teaspoon plus my healthy extra B choice. Well, hello friends, it is lunchtime and uh, I am making lunch for today and tomorrow because tomorrow I am out all day um, and I need to take my food with me um, because I'm helping at the elections basically. So um, yeah, <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not particularly interested in politics. I'm just doing it for the money. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, basically uh, I'm gonna be there literally all day. So I need to take like breakfast, lunch and dinner with me. Um, so I'm making enough lunch for today and tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna be doing the same with my dinner this evening. So for lunch, I'm gonna make a pasta salad because I'm just trying to think of things that transport easily, that I'm not too embarrassed to eat around other people because I've got real issues about that. And um, yeah, so <laughs> pasta salad, I should be okay with. Um, for the protein part of it, I'm gonna do um, these garlic and herb kebabs. So I'll have two in today's and two in tomorrow's, um, but I'll chop them up so they go right through it. So this is the Wiki Kitchen garlic and herb kebabs. Um, they're really, <laughs> really tasty. Um, and really substantial. Uh, I think they're really high in protein, she said, but I'm not sure. Not that, you know, really. Yeah, 24.8 grams of protein for two kebabs, so that's really high. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna oven bake those now. Um, they are three and a half sins per kebab, and that means that my pasta salad, everything else is gonna be free in it, but it does mean that the salads are gonna be seven sins each. Um, you know, but that's okay. It's fine to use sins and plan them in. Okay, so my pasta is cooked and drained and I have chopped up my main veggies. So I've got in the bottom, red onion. I've used half a red onion because it's quite a strong one. Um, a whole red pepper, about half a cucumber and just over half a box of um, like cherry tomatoes on the vine. I'm gonna add in a uh, a chili that I've chopped up and at the end I'll squeeze over the juice of a lemon but I've also got some parsley and some chives that I'm going to add in and also some steamed beetroot um, that I'm going to like put on top when I pack it up because I don't want it to like stain everything basically. All right so here is the basic pasta salad. Um, as I said, I've added my chili, I've added my lemon juice, I've added a big pinch of salt and a big pinch of garlic pepper, uh, just to get a little bit of extra flavor. And of course, I've got my herbs mixed through there. So what I'm gonna do now, um, because with the kebabs, I need to make sure that I just get two on each one, so I'll add them at the end. And also the beetroot, because I don't want it to stain it, I'll add at the end. So I'm gonna dish it up now into my lunch portion today and for my container for tomorrow, and then I can add the extra bits then. Okay, so my kebabs are now cooked. I'm just gonna leave two of them to cool and chop up two for my lunch now. The only thing I would say about these kebabs is when you take them out of the pack, like just make sure you try and scoop up as much of the dressing as possible and like try and spread it over a bit more evenly because they're not really that even. Um, so yeah, I just try and spread it out a bit. <laughs> and this, this is still my effort after doing that, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's my two finished meals. Um, lunchtime one I have mixed up. Um, yes, I took a photo first. <laughs> and then that one is ready to go. It's kind of half mixed up and half ready for a picture. Uh, yes, so that's that's that. Um, and those are both seven sins each, purely because of the uh, garlic and herb kebab thing that I used. And um, obviously that could be substituted with anything, including things like chickpeas, smoked tofu, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The only thing is that you might wanna make a little bit more of a dressing um, than what I have, because obviously I've just used like salt, garlic pepper, lemon and fresh chili and some herbs. Um, but, you know, obviously the garlic and herb dressing on the chicken stuff is, or pretend chicken is, you know, gonna be adding quite a lot of flavor. So that's the only thing I would say. Um, but apart from that, um, there we go. <laughs> so there's my lunch. <laughs> 
random huge hailstones have begun falling. I didn't think it was uh, particularly bad weather today, but apparently it was just waiting for these hailstones to fall. They're really quite big. Look at them bouncing. Uh, amusing. <laughs> right, guys, it's dinner time, and um, <laughs> true to form, I'm a uh, slightly later than I intended, but that's fine. So again, uh, thinking of something that I can make now that I can pack up and take with me tomorrow as well. So I'm just doing a tray of roasted vegetables, which is um, just red onion. Um, I used the half leftover from earlier plus a whole other one. I've got two courgettes in there and a whole aubergine. Um, and then I've got one of these uh, naked XL blocks of tofu. Um, so I'm going to coat that in some of that lovely Wiki Kitchen nutritional yeast seasoning and bake that on top as well. Okay, so the absolute best way to get your tofu covered in whatever you want to coat it in um, is pop half of it in a pot. Um, you can use a um, like a food bag if you want to, but um, since I'm going to be putting my stuff in a pot anyway um, to pack up and take with me tomorrow, then it seems seems sensible to do that. So um, once you've done that, you can then put your first layer of seasoning on, then the rest of your tofu, then the other layer, and then you're just gonna shake it up. Okay, the seasoning I'm using is the um, Wicked Kitchen Smoky Barbecue Flavoured Nooch Seasoning, which is um, half a cent per teaspoon. So that's good. And I'm gonna use two tablespoons, which is six teaspoons or three teaspoons uh, per serving so yeah okay so I've got it all coated as I said that's two tablespoons in total which is six teaspoons which is three sins or of course um, one and a half per serving so I'm just going to pop the lid on <laughs> don't forget that part and then give it a good old shaky shake oh my god <laughs> oh no sad times. Don't worry, I've salvaged most of that. It wasn't loads. Um, okay, so here's my tofu, obviously fairly evenly coated, happy with that. Um, and now back to my tray. Um, I've got a load of garlic in there, I don't know if I mentioned that just now. What I'm going to do is just use a couple of sins and have some uh, olive oil spray. So this is half a sin per five sprays. I've done 15 so far and I'll do another five just to cover the tofu, which I want on top. So I actually did another 15 sprays on top, because um, you know, why not? So that's a three sins in total for olive oil, three sins in total for nooch. This whole tray is six sins, which means it's three per portion. Perfect. So as far as dinner tonight goes, I'm not actually loads hungry, um, but for tomorrow, I'm gonna add in some rice to have my vegetables and tofu with. This is just left over from last night. Um, and, you know, this is, both the meals I've made for tomorrow, um, a fine to be eaten cold. And of course, this one though for dinner, if there is a microwave there, which I don't know if there will be, but if there is, then um, I'll be able to heat it up and it'll be absolutely fine as well. So, happy day. This is my tofu and veggies all cooked up now. All right, excuse the mess. <laughs> uh, this is, of course, um, my one for tonight, which is just the vegetables and tofu. So three sins, and that's my one for tomorrow with the rice now added underneath. You'll notice this is the pot that I shook my nooch in. Fnaf, fnaf. Um, so I'm just gonna let that cool and then I'll pop the lid on and that can go in the fridge along with um, my other thing that I prepped. Just making my uh, usual cup of pucker nighttime tea. Well, I'm gonna say goodnight here because it is just gone 10 o'clock. I'm just finishing my cup of tea and then I'm going to bed because um, I have a very early start in the morning. Um, but I uh, I forgot to tell you guys, the reason I wasn't that hungry for tea was because I had a snack kind of late in the afternoon. Um, it was 11 since, so I'm finishing on 22 today. Um, it was one of the Trek salted caramel flapjacks. I'll just put like a picture here for you so you can see it. Um, but yeah, um, that's 11 tins, really, really gummy. Again, another one of those things that I've kind of recently discovered. But, I don't know, they are really tasty. So, 
don't know if I'll keep on buying them. <laughs> um, it's fine when I'm in the right frame of mind, but when I'm not, yeah, I don't know if I want to have that kind of stuff around. Anyway, the point is, uh, it's all good right now, so happy days. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Night-night.